my channel if it is your first time here welcome go ahead and subscribe leave a comment down below if you are a returning subscriber hey boo so today i figured that i would do a review video on some perfume i got now one of them is new and one of them is older but it's okay because we still got it and i got my notes and everything that i'm gonna go over to talk about wow it looked like i had nothing but i do there you go um i'm gonna be reviewing the burberry my burberry and then the burberry her so i kind of want to talk on like the scents how long i felt like they lasted what i paired them with um and then just some tips that i've learned and just a little fun fact on the perfume so without further ado let's get into the perfume let's keep looking at it because i'm like i can't wait to talk about it <laughs> so the very first one let me wipe this off because i don't want this to be all like smear from my oil okay so the first perfume is this one it is the burberry her it's a classic it smells it smells sweet now i'm not good with perfume scents so i'm gonna try to explain it without trying to remember what they talked about it smells fruity and like uh it kind of remind me of cotton candy a little bit that's what i'm getting sweet fruity maybe a little hot cotton candy that's what i get but i feel like this is a perfect like to me i feel like this is perfect year round maybe fall early fall that's what i'm getting from this so let's get into the my Bur or the my Bur burberry her um scent what they're saying so far as that it's in the floral family and i didn't smell no floral i don't like florals i don't i didn't smell no flowers no nothing but it says that the scent type is fruity floral so it's in the family of floral but it categorizes as fruity floral so that's cool the keynotes is dark berries jasmine musk and amber i definitely got the berry scent it smelled fruity um Maybe the musk or the amber was what made it smell warm, if that makes sense, like cotton candies. It made me think of like warmness, but not like fall warm, but like August, September warm, not October. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. Um, so these two fragrances that I'm talking about was created by Francis, uh, how can I, I don't I always butcher it. Francis Courtijan, the one that created Baccarat Rouge 540 in the whole classic of their line. They, he created these two, lot, these two perfumes. So I thought that was super dope to know because I am a huge fan of his perfume lines that what he creates. I'm a huge fan of them. So when I found out he made those, I just felt like it was just like a win-win for me. Cause I was like, this is perfect. So I just know I'm gonna love his other scents that he created which I am trying to get my hands on and I've yet to get my hands on them. So I'm trying to just, I'm just trying to get my hand on the 540 because I know it's gonna smell wonderful. But anyway, um, the soap that I use now, to me, I feel like people do reviews on their perfume and they talk about how they last long, but they don't tell you like what tips and tricks to do. So what I did is I paired this with my Dove Rejuvenating pomegranate and berry it's a pomegranate hibiscus tea and i felt like this would go good with it because this is the only like super fruity scent that i had um so i paired that with my soap with the spray when you get in the shower the first thing that you do is you get your soap right you want a soap that's literally going to smell similar to what you're spraying so for the burberry um her i felt like that has a fruity smell so i'm not gonna grab something that smells like um vanilla you know what i mean like it probably could pair with it but i wanted something that stayed in that kind of family so that's what i used and then when i was done i used i bought this uh when did i get this i think i got this on sunday it's the avino daily moisturizing oil mist so it has like oat oil and jojoba oil in there it smells okay i'm not gonna lie it smells like your typical oil that you put on your body but i wanted a moisturizing oil that would moisturize my skin because perfume sticks to what 
oil, not just the regular lotion. I was one of those people that just put some lotion on it and then I would spray. It can, but to really let it stick in there, uh, stick on your skin, that's why they tell you like you could put Vaseline on your hot your post point and then spray it because you want some kind of oil or something that's gonna really stick that the perfume can really stick to. So those are two things that I did. And also you want to make sure your skin is moisturized. So that actually starts from within. So drinking more water. You get what I'm saying? All these tips and tricks for me, if I'm spending, I believe this was like 80 something dollars plus tax was like a hundred something. If I'm spending this much money on perfume because I want to smell good, I love how it smells, then I'm about to do everything I can to make sure that it is going to last. Now, for me, the longevity, I sprayed this on um, this morning around seven, 6.45, 6.50, I sprayed it on. I would say, I can still smell it, but it's not as strong. But I bet if, if the wind catched it, I don't smell it on my arms. I don't smell it on my arms anymore, but on my chest, I can still smell it. I would say the longevity is probably about a good five, six hours, I would say, for that perfume that you really can smell it. Now, I smell it on my chest, but on my arms, I have my arms on my desk and boxes i'm lifting things up and all this different stuff so it's going to transfer so but i still can smell it i am not flexible to smell behind my knees where i sprayed it as so can i i can smell it on my knee a little bit <laughs> i guess i was just thinking like in my head, I'm like, do I have to lift my leg up and then smell behind my leg? I'm like, I can't do that. Tia, just bend down and smell your knee. I can, it was still on there. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say as far as the perfume. Um, I don't recommend spraying it on your clothes because they do have oils if you're getting the perfume that I don't know far as the Eau de Toilette because I don't buy those kind. I only buy the, perfu uh, the perfume, so I don't recommend spraying on your clothes. You probably can if it's a darker color and you don't, you know, you're spraying it far away and you're not gonna get the big droplets. But if it has oil in there, it's going to stain your clothes. But I definitely feel like, again, perfume, I'm spending this much money, I'm gonna spray it where I need to spray it. I'm not a heavy, heavy sprayer, but I definitely spray like the inside of my arms, back of my knees. I spray my neck and then I spray uh, right here. And then once I have that spray down, then sometimes I go through and I do like a one, two, three. <laughs> That's just what I do. I'm a heavy sprayer. But I also try to make sure that I show love to all my perfumes so I'm not using one more than the other one. But that's what I have for that one for the Burberry Hearst. So again, I definitely recommend it. It smells so good. Smell is, it's so, it's so fruity and so sweet, but not overbearing sweet. Like when the wind blow, people can be like, oh, what are you wearing? You know, that's to me, I feel like getting a compliment on how I smell is like top tier of compliments to me. Like you, like hearing that I'm pretty, I have a hard time. Well, that's a whole, that's a whole nother story for a different day that we're not gonna get into. But you tell me I smell good. I'd be like, thank you. And I'm at a gatekeeper. So I definitely be like, thank you. It is this and this is what I use with it because I'm maximizing what I'm getting out of it. You get what I'm saying? So. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next perfume is called My Burberry and she's new to my collection. She's new, but let's smell her. Ooh, it smells clean. It smells clean. Here's the thing, when you spray, when you smell it in the jar or in the, contain, the glass bottle, it smells different, but once it, my bad, my camera died. <laughs> Not my camera died, my memory got full. So, um, so anyway, like I was saying, when you smell this, it smells different in the bottle than it does on your skin. On your skin, it dries down to like this fruity, like beautiful, beautiful scent. So that's what I have is called my Burberry blush. So that's the one you want to get the pink ribbon and it's absolutely gorgeous. So again, this is created by Francis Dijon. Oh, I was about to call him Dijon. <laughs> like Dijon. Francis Kurt Dijon. Him and a guy named Christopher Bailey, they created this scent. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely such a beautiful scent. Um, the scent is in the floral family again. 
I don't smell no florals. And then the scent type is fruity. So some of the notes that it has on um, that is pomegranate, rose, and jasmine. I told you, you smell it. And that was another reason why I paired that with the pomegranate dove is because this was a pomegranate hibiscus and then it had pomegranate, rose, and jasmine. So I felt like that would be the perfect pairing. And again, I just used my Avino Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist. Um, so that's the soap that I would pair with it. And I would pair it with something floral as well. If you have like a rose one um, or a jasmine scent uh, soap, I think that would be perfect. Um, and then I also would try, <sighs> I also would recommend when you're doing scents, if you're pairing up your soap, you wanna pair up your lotion or oil as well. So if you have a really good moisturizing like EOS, I think that is a real good moisturizing for $7.99. I get mine at Target. I have the vanilla one, so I really didn't want to use that because I didn't wanna take away from the other scents that you know I'm trying to see the longevity of them. But I definitely recommend using like a soap that pairs with the scents that you have for me like i said i smell fruitiness so i don't i don't have time to be googling like what scent is in here i don't care about that what i smell and then i'm gonna be like okay this smells fruity i'm about to pair with something fruity that's what i'm gonna do because sometimes you don't have time to be like oh man what does this perfume pair up with you just smell it and you remember what it smells like you know what i mean so pair it with however you want to if you want to pair the vanilla soap and then you think it's going to complement the pomegranate and the rose then do that it's whatever you want to do but these are just how i did it to try to get more of the scent to come out if that makes sense um as far as the longevity, I definitely feel like the longevity of it lasted, I would say again, probably about a good six hours, I would feel for that one. It smelled beautiful, it lasted. Now, you know what, I take that back. I would say on my clothes, it rubbed off on my chest area. So I feel like it lasted for about seven to eight hours, I would say on my clothes, just from me on the area that it rubbed on the most. So it definitely has a good longevity on it. Again, I used the oil. After I got out the shower, I moisturized. And I sprayed myself with the oil. Then I put on my perfume and then I did the one, two, three after I sprayed my post points, you know? That's just what I do. But whatever you guys choose to do, that is completely up to you. Like I said, I like to do, I like to pair my scents with different things. I also like to sometimes put Bath and Body Work perfume spray or body spray with my perfume as well. It just depends on my mood and depends on what I'm doing. So whatever you feel like is going to work best for you, then do you, boo. That's really all that matters. The perfume is literally subjective or whatever the word is that you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but the perfume is literally, you know, you buy a scent that you love that you feel like works great with your body chemistry. Another tip that I do is when I go to the store, I have a list on my phone of whether it's Sephora or Ulta or somebody's talking about a perfume, I'll screenshot it, put it in my notes. So I have perfumes in my notes. What I do is I go to the store and I'll spray it and I'll smell it. I'll spray it on both arms, one on this arm, one on this arm, and I'll spray it to see how it fits my body chemistry. Some sprays like the, board, the um, who is it? The Valentino, the green one, I can't remember the name of it. it. It's like a green color. That does not smell good to me at all in bottle. And it definitely doesn't work well with my body chemistry. So I always tell people to spray it on your skin so you can figure out how that's gonna smell once it dries down on you. Sometimes I go back and smell something a couple times before I absolutely buy it because it's still I'm still trying to have it grow on me or because I'm trying to figure, okay, it smells good in the bottle, but let me spray it on. Um, which one did I do? The YSL Intent, Libre Intent. I liked how it smelled in the bottle the first time. Went back a second time and it was giving very mature vibes. So uh, now I'm like, okay, let me go to the second one. So I sprayed it on my arm. I did 100% like how it smelled on my arm, but then once it dried down and I kept smelling it, I said, okay. Maybe this smells okay. That one's gonna be something that I have at the bottom of my list that I don't necessarily have to have, but I do feel like that would be a very good fall scent because it's just a warm, like buttery, 
I think it has like vanilla and orange blossom or something like that. I feel like that's a perfect fall scent. I'm gonna have to go back and play with that a little bit more and see how I like it on my body's chemistry. So I do a process of elimination on certain ones. Um, if I'm not 100% sold on it when I first smell it, there's some sprays that I smell instantly like the My Burberry and the uh, Burberry Her. Those two smelled it instantly and was like, I need to have these. These are my next perfume I'm going to get. And then when I went back, I sprayed it on myself, walked around, looked at some other stuff and was like, okay, I'm, I'm getting that. I'm, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm gonna get. So that's usually those are like, those are hits for me. Um, I have, I said this before, but I have a weird gift where I can look at something and tell if I'm gonna really like how it smells. I haven't been wrong. I have not been wrong on it. I don't read up, like research it or anything. I'll look at it and see what, let me take that back. I'll look at the bottle and I'll look at it. And then I'll look at the notes and I'm like, I bet that smells good. I bet it smells good. You know what I mean? So I can do that and look at it, but some perfumes I haven't been able to smell, like I want to get um, the K. Ali, the new cherry, the one that they're saying that smells like Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. Tom Ford Lost Cherry from, to me, I don't want to smell it because it smells, it seems like it's going to smell like cherries. Like, obviously it's Lost Cherry, but <laughs> it just seems like it's going to smell like too cherryish for me. What's the name of the Kaylee one that I'm trying to get? Um, so I'm not a person that's go like, I wasn't drawn to that one. Um, so I'm not, I'm not gonna get it. But the, oh, here it is. I'm gonna say like, why is it not pulling up? Let me find it. And I have them, in, do I still have it in my cart? I keep them in my car. I keep stuff in my car all the time because, oh, the Kaylee Love Fest Burning Cherry. I just feel like that's gonna smell wonderful. It's got almonds and cherry. And for some reason, it just looks like it's gonna smell good. So that's my next one that I want to get. And then I want to get the Sweet, is it Sweet Diamond? I think it's called the Sweet Diamond Peppercorn. is the name of it yeah the sweet diamond pink that just looks like that's gonna smell good too um i've talked about this a thousand times the baccarat rouge 540 i feel like that's just gonna smell good you know it's just certain the ones that i just be like i'm i don't know how i'm gonna smell it i think there's one um probably about like 30 minutes away a place that sells both of these so i might make a trip up there one day just because i want to see what it smells like and i just want to be 100 percent sure before i blind purchase it um but you know it's all about finding your scent finding what you feel works oh the sun is going down <laughs> finding what you like finding like what you feel like it's gonna smell good for your body um you know, and pairing it with what you like to smell like. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little review on the perfumes My Burberry Blush and Burberry Her. I really enjoyed doing these kind of reviews. I feel like you guys like the perfume reviews that I do. If there's any other videos that you want me to do, let me know in the comments. I plan on doing some more perfume reviews as well. Um, I feel like I have a good collection of some of the brands like um i have multiple brands but i have usually like two of them so i could do a review of those and kind of let you know my thoughts on different ones if you have a perfume that you want, to want me to review leave it down in the comments below let me know also let me know what's your perfume your favorite perfumes that you guys have and how you layer and how you get your longevity on those so as always i thank you guys so much for tuning in watching this video um, and just taking the time out to invite me and let me give you guys my opinion. So I appreciate that so much. Um, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.